Hi, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Hena and this is Burr. Today we are going to do a Pilates workout to focus on the abs and the booty at the same time. And this is gonna give you an amazing burn. So if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's fire this together. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to come to own form position. We're gonna start some warm up before we start the main workout. So keep your shoulders on top of the wrist, open your arms, shoulders apart, your legs tip width apart, pull the belly button in gently, inhale and roll your spine. Squeeze your booty if you can. Exhale, arch your back, shoulders down, okay, and car look to the front. And a couple more times, say inhale and exhale. Or you can reverse the breath if it's more comfortable for you. Exhale, roll your spine, each vertebra at a time. And in inhale, arch your back, shoulders down, look to the front. And round, squeeze your booty, squeeze your inner thighs, and engage your abs to support your lower back. And round again. And arch. Good, and one more time, roll your spine and articulate your spine, shoulders down and slowly bring your torso back to the center now keep your back in neutral, don't arch and don't round just in the middle, I want to inhale and slowly rotate your hips like a circle and then reverse and a couple more times with your own breath, pull the belly button in inhale and exhale or you can make a shorter breath like inhale halfway, exhale halfway, and then reverse. Same breath. And I wanted to hear your own breath. And last one. Reverse and slowly bring your torso back to center. Very good. The next movement, I wanted to move torso forward and come back all the way. Sit on your heels and move forward and come back. Sit on the heel. In five, four. Soften your elbows. Three. Inhale forward. Exhale backward. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. And let's move to the main workout. So keep your knees and your heel to the center. Close to each other. Shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen your neck and look down to the mat. Lengthen one leg. Now inhale and lift your leg as high as you can. Exhale, come back. Extend the ankle. And ten. Keep breathing, inhale up, exhale down, lift and down. Six and five, squeeze your booty as high as you can. Two and last one. And the same leg, just lift parallel to the ground, flex the ankle. Open your leg as wide as you can and bring it back to the center ten times. Inhale and exhale, come back, soften your elbows. And any time if you feel like you want to make it easier for the wrist, just feel free to put your whole forearms down. Come back. Good. Keep breathing. In three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knee and come back. So the next movement, still on the same leg. We're going to try to do three moves before we move to the other side. Extend the ankle open and then come back 10 times, inhale, keep breathing, engage your abs, squeeze your inner thighs and try to lift as high as you can, bring it down slowly, that's amazing, open, come back and last one and now move to the opposite side, so again lengthen your opposite leg, extend the ankle, lift as high as you can and bring it down 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Belly button in. Two and last one. Up and down. Lift it just about the hips parallel to the ground. Flex the ankle. Open as wide as you can and slowly bring it back to the center. Make sure you stabilize your hips. Only your leg is moving. Engage your abs. Do it slowly with your breath. 
use your breath to control the movement. Two and last one. Open, come back, and slowly bring your leg down. All right, now the next movement, knee bend. Extend the ankle, open to the side, come back 10 times. Keep breathing. Almost done. I already feel so good on my butt. All right, and shake your hips, take a deep breath, now deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. Next movement, four arms down, and lengthen your legs. Now, open your legs, hip width apart, if it's easier for the balance. Now inhale and bend one knee to the side, come back to the opposite side, back to the center, 10 times each side, and let's start. Engage your abs. Squeeze your booty. That's amazing, guy. And three, two, last one. And slowly bend your knees, come to try pose. Take a deep breath and deeply shake your hips. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now you need to allow yourself to come back to on four position. Now this time, slowly keep your one leg lengthening again. Engage your abs, lift your legs up, just parallel to the ground. Now start to use your toes to point and draw a circle without moving your hips, so 10 rounds. As big as you can. To the side, rotate, come back. And six, five, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat. And then reverse, ten rounds again. And two, and last one, and slowly bend your knee, go to the opposite side. So lengthen and lift and rotate. Slowly with your breath. And two, and last one, and then reverse. Good, keep breathing. This is my favorite move. Work your core and your booty so much. And last one, and slowly knee bend. Shake your hips, take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Put your forearms down, tuck your feet and now lift your hips as high as you can. Now this time, I'm going to inhale, soften your knees if you need to, otherwise lengthen. Lengthen one leg up, make sure you make a little pause to squeeze your booty in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Engage your abs, 2, and one, and bend your knee to 90 degree. Try to lift as high as you can, and knee to chest without moving your hips. So 10, engage your abs. Nine, keep the same angle on your knee. Eight, lengthen your neck. Seven, six, extend the ankle. Very good. And three, two, Press your whole forearms down, last one, and slowly bring your foot down. Go to the opposite side. So again, lengthen your leg and make a little pulls again. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep breathing. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knee bend and knee to chest. And lift as high as you can. And 10, 9, 8, 
nine, eight, squeeze your booty, seven, six, and five, four, make sure you don't lock your knee, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your foot down, bend your knees, come to tripods, lengthen your spine and reach your hands forward, shake your hips gently, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now we're going to lean on one side to do psychic series. So, rest your head down on your arm, just put your whole forearm down or you can use your hand to support your head if you feel like your wrist is comfortable with that. So your opposite hand in front of your chest, your forearm stick to your ribcage. Now bend your bottom knee and lengthen your top leg, shoulders keep further away from your shoulders your ears and then lift your leg as high as you can, bring it down 10 times. Do it slowly, squeeze your inner thighs. Good, squeeze your booty. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knee towards the chest. Keep the same angle, so try to move your foot forward. That way it's create like 90 degrees on your knee. Move all the way backward as far as you can and bring it back. Try to press your bottom leg down to the mat so you can always rest your head down on your arm. Nine, eight, if it's easier for the balance. And seven, keep breathing. Six. And five, try to reach backward a little bit more for engage your abs to stabilize your hips. Three and two and last one. And slowly bring your knee back to the center. Lift just above the heels. And now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale, move both legs forward so that way it's create a 90 degrees on your hips. Inhale, open your leg as wide as you can. Exhale, bring it back 10 times. Keep breathing. Squeeze your inner thighs slowly. And last one, lift and down. Now lift your heel higher than your knee, so your upper leg still parallel to the ground. And I'm going to inhale, try to reach your leg all the way up to the ceiling, lengthen your leg, and then bring it back knee bend. 10 times. Engage your abs. Relax your shoulders. Reach, lengthen, come back. And two, and last one. Lengthen and bring it back and slowly bring your whole leg down to the mat. Gently stretch your hips, I give a little massage and now I wanted to inhale, lengthen your top leg to the front and lift your leg just above the hips. Now try to draw the heart shape here. So keep breathing or just draw whatever you like. Just keep the same shape all the time. So keep breathing and feel the burn on your body, on your legs and your inner thighs. That feels just amazing. I hope you feel the same. Keep breathing. Come back, two, and last one, and slowly bring your leg all the way down to the mat. Flex the ankle. Now inhale, lift your leg as high as you can, all the way up to the ceiling if you can, and bring it down slowly until your leg touch the mat. To make it easier, you can move your leg further away if it's easier for the hips. So it really depends on you. Try and pick the modification that you love 10 more times and nine. I wanted to do it really slowly so you can kind of feel your leg is shaking. Uh, my leg is shaking right now. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's really shaking and burning. Good. And exhale down. And six. Only your leg is moving. Press your bottom leg down to the mat. And four more times. Three. Inhale and exhale, and two, 
and lesson up and down and slowly bend your knees shake your hips and now the last two movements on this psychic series to challenge your abs more top leg to the front bottom leg to the back hand on hand to have more support make sure your shoulders on top of the elbow and pull the belly button in lift your waist a little bit higher and hips all the way up now inhale and try to lift your hips higher and bring your hips down just above the mat 10 times let's do this engage your abs keep breathing and last one and slowly bring your hips down the next movement the last one for this circuit series just press your whole arm down head on your arm hand in front of your chest and lift your leg as high as you can engage your abs feel your obliques is burning and come back so try to lift up pause it here for a few seconds and then bring it down slowly with your breath and nine eight now make sure that you stabilize your hips seven pause 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 and down six keep breathing and five four and down and three and last one and slowly bring your legs down, knees bend, take a deep breath, exhale deeply, and let's move to the opposite side. That's amazing, guys. All right, and at this time, again, forearm down all the way, or use your hand to support your head if it's more comfortable. Hand in front of the chest, bottom leg bend, top leg lift up, chest parallel to the ground, inhale, lift as high as you can, and exhale, bring it down 10 times. So lift, stabilize your torso, inhale up, exhale down, six, keep breathing, and five, four, three, squeeze your booty, and last one, all right? And slowly bend your knee, keep your knee at 90 degrees all the time. Start to move from your hip. So move forward and then backward all the way and then come back 10 times. Let's start. And nine. And if you close to the wall like I am right now, try to reach and touch the wall or something behind you. If not, it's totally fine. Just like finding something fun when you work out. That's it. Keep breathing. Come back. Knee bend and backward five more times with your breath and four. Press your lower back, leg down and reach a little bit further. Three, two, touch and slowly bring your knee back down to the mat. All right, now move both legs to the front so that way your hips at 90 degree. Now lift your top leg up. Inhale and now slowly just open your leg as wide as you can and bring it back to the center 10 times. So 10, and 9, keep breathing, 8, 7, squeeze your inner thighs, and 5, 4, belly button in, 3, 2, engage your abs and last one and now slowly inhale just lift your legs just above the hips lift your heels higher and now try to reach lengthen and knee bend again 10 times so 10 9 and if you can reach all the way up to the ceiling then feel free to do that it good keep breathing 7 press your lower leg down 6 inhale lengthen Exhale, bend. And three, two, 
and last one and slowly bring your legs down to the mat good now the next movement lift your leg up extend the ankle lengthen your top leg you now draw a heart shape and 10 times or you can draw whatever of the shape that you did on the other side good six this is a really challenging movement for my booty and four three two and last one and slowly bring your leg down all the way to the mat and lift as high as you can ten times and nine squeeze your inner thighs eight seven good and six do it really slowly five come back and four more times here. Three. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And last one. And slowly bend your knee. Shake your hip, give a little massage. And then move to the next one that challenging the abs. So forearm down, top leg to the front, bottom leg to the back waist of the mat, hips as high as you can and slowly bring your hips down just above the mat 10 times here, inhale and exhale, shoulders far away from your ears 9 and lift 7, keep breathing 6 and 5 come back, 4 3 2 Squeeze your booty, engage your abs as much as possible. Last one, and slowly bring your legs down. Again, rest your head all the way down on your arm. The other hand in front of your chest, extend the ankle. Try to lift both legs as high as you can. Pause, three, two, and one. Bring it down, 10 times together. 10, and down, belly button in. Eight. Come back, lift and pause and down, six and five, engage your abs, four, feel your obliques, squeeze your booty, three and two, last one. And slowly bring your legs down. That's amazing, guys. All right. Now I wanted to lie all the way down on your back. Arms open to the side. Press your whole shoulder blades down. Your whole arms down. Lift your legs to 90 degrees. Your knees on top of the hips. Now inhale and open both legs to the side. Make a little pause for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Your whole legs pause and come back to the center, lengthen your legs, open to the side and bring it back to the center 10 times. Squeeze your inner thighs, keep breathing. Good, bring it back slowly. And last one, open, come back. Flex the ankle. Now I wanted to inhale. Bring one leg to the side. Move further away. Extend the ankle. And now from here, flex the ankle again. Switch. Extend. And flex. And switch. Drawing half of circles. So if you feel it's challenging for the abs, or for the lower back, then I want you to lift your leg, but your bottom leg higher, so that way it have less pressure on your lower back. Good. Make sure you always extend the ankle and then flex before we switch. Do it slowly with your own breath. Engage your abs and press your whole hips down to the mat. Three more times each side. Two. 
lesson and slowly bring your legs back to the center of your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth rotate the ankles and then reverse and then bend your knees press your feet down not your head lift your head off the mat use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider press your feet down and inhale lift your chest as high as you can hold it here for three two and one come back so you just try to press your lower back down ten times here lift and down and nine three two one and down come back lift three two one and down feel your six back abs are burning like crazy squeeze your booty at the same time and down and five and down four lift higher and down and three one and down and lift three two one down last one and slowly bring your head down to the mat all right now lift your legs up extend the ankle and now slowly inhale lengthen one leg to the front draw a tiny circle here good try to keep balance here your hip bones stabilized engage your abs so your abs and your body work at the same time you can try to open your leg as wide as you can without rotating or without fluctuating your hips so all your leg is moving slowly good if you feel like you need more support use your arms along your body and press it down squeeze your inner thighs this is an amazing combination of abs and booty targeting very good and reverse <laughs> all right engage your abs i'm gonna do the more challenging version by putting my hands below the head shoulder blades press down to the mat really engage your abs here that's amazing inhale and exhale halfway in three two and last one good and slowly knee bend you can put your feet down just for a second to take a rest and then put it up right away lengthen your opposite leg try a draw a tiny circle amazing and I try to go big circle as big as you can engage your abs and do it slowly use the breath to control the movement so do it with your own speed but make sure that you use the breath to start all the circle good two and last one and reverse Good. Make sure to press both hips down to the mat. Try to lift your leg all the way up and to the side. And two. And last one. And slowly bring your leg back to the center. Feet down. Gently shake your hips again. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Now arms along your body lift your legs up extend the ankle again and flex and extend and flex just a tiny stretch on your ankles to feel good now flex your ankle push your legs further away work your lower abs start to make a little pulse with your whole legs here and then we step and walking in the air for five four three engage your abs two and one and slowly bend your knees again and make sure the whole time you don't arch your back so we're gonna do one more time and if you feel like it's you need to make it easier lift your legs a little bit higher so that way your back in can be in neutral position all right let's do this together so push away make a little step for 10 
nine, shoulder blades down, eight, seven, engage your abs, six, and five, four, burning, three, two, and last one, and slowly bend your knees, feet down, take a deep breath, and you deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, lengthen your legs, flex the ankle, arms up, to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Now nod your head, inhale. And exhale, lift your head off the mat. Use your abs to rotate the sitting position. Good. And slowly lean backward again, again, again. And round your spine. Each vertebra at a time down to the mat. So change your chest. Lift your head off the mat. Inhale. Exhale. And go up. To sitting position that's amazing guys I'm gonna try to do three more times so lean backward and round your spine hands over your head come back two shoulders relaxed and then lean backward again and round each vertebra at a time you can always make it easier by bending your knees and lift open move your feet further away and use your hand to support to make it easier and slowly roll all the way down to the mat again hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right let's let's do one more move before we move to the uh, cool down part so i wanted to lengthen your legs up good Open your arms to the side, pull the belly button in, and then slowly bring both legs to one side. Still press both hip bones down to the mat. Lengthen your legs, go all the way down to the opposite side, and back to the center. And five more times this way, this direction. Four, three, Engage your abs too. Don't have to make a big circle, just as far as you can. Keep your back in neutral position. And then reverse to the opposite way. Four. Three. Work great on your lower abs too. Bend your knees if it's easier for you. And last one. And slowly bend your knees, bring your feet down. Take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now let's start to cool down. So put on foot down, one leg up, flex the ankle. Use your hand to slide all the way up as high as you can. Pull your leg towards the chest. Make a little pulse with your hands. You're gonna really feel the back of your leg. It's stretching your hamstring, your calf, and the back of your knee. Feels amazing. Good. Now try to pull your toes all the way towards as far as you can and feel good. Alright, and then slowly extend the ankle, bend your knee, keep your feet towards the hips, open your knee to the side. Or as far as you can. Try to bring your knee all the way towards back to backward. If it's comfortable for you good open your arm to the side if you can keep your foot on the other thigh awesome and then slowly bring your knee back to the opposite side press your foot down lengthen your opposite leg flex the ankle and slowly bring your hand slide all the way towards the ankle as far as you can go make a little pose here lengthen your leg feels amazing hands touch the toes try to pull down as much as you can gotta feel my leg is shaking but then feels so good on stretching on the hamstring on the calf here on the back of the knee and the ankle and slowly come back extend the ankle open your knee as wide as you can and all the way towards the other side of the mat Open your arm to the side if you can hold it in this position. Otherwise, just use your hand to hug the ankle. 
hold it for three, two, and one, and slowly come back. Good. Open your knees as wide as you can, and gently bring your hips from left to right. And now cross your legs from here. Arch your back, engage your abs to support your lower back. Reach your hands towards the heels. Really arch your back so you can put your whole hands under the lower back. And then try to press your lower back down to the mat. Lift your legs just about the mat. Or just as far as you feel comfortable to put your lower back down. And come back, arch your back. And round. And arch. And round. And knees bend. Press your feet down. Shake your hips. Alright. And now I'm going to rotate your hips here. From left to right. A circle. And then reverse. And start to bring your head from left to right. To the other side again and to the right and come back to the center take a deep breath inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and you can relax all the muscles here on your body from head to toes inhale and exhale kind of feel like your whole body is just very light here on the mat. Take a deep breath again and exhale deeply and slowly open your eyes, lean on one side to sit up when you're ready. Sit tall with your back lengthening, hands on your knees, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Bring your head to one side. To the opposite side. Back to the center one more time. To the opposite side. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Look up. And look down. Slowly up again. And down. Come back to the center, take a deep breath. And one more deep breath. And that's the work after today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell to see the notification every time I upload the new video. And if you're looking for a 30 day workout plan, feel free to join me for Mango Tribe uh, here, <laughs> I guess. And there will be a fun surprise that I will have for you in October, which I will share with you in the earliest video. So see you again very soon in the next video. Bye bye!